This is Just Tool Basics, and today we're talking about ferrules and ferrule crimpers. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's topic is ferrules and ferrule crimpers. Now, they're called terminals in this pack, but uh, they're ferrules. Um, and uh, what these are is little ends to add to wires. They're like shoelace ends, but for wires. Uh, the way they work is uh, you you take your stranded wire. I mean, the, the point is to to uh, make your st stranded wire have a, a sturdier end, and uh, and then you use this tool to crimp it down. And the way that that works is by leveraging it like a the the ratcheting interface is kind of a standard. Crimper thing, you'll you'll find this on other things like um, the thing that ends network cables or phone cords or whatever. Um, it's a adjustable cam. This this little screw comes out, and you can adjust this wheel to adjust how the cam interacts with this side of the handle. Um, I've actually cranked mine to plus one unit from where it defaults to. Um, it makes it so that it's a little bit harder to squeeze, but you get a, a little bit tighter um, finish on your your ferrule. Um, these also come in six-sided versions that crimp the same way, just down to six instead of down to four. Uh, I like the square ends because when you are taking a wire and inserting it into um, you know, a speaker or something like that that has a single contact point, having it be square means that the screw or the spring-loaded thing has one side. You, know, you, you can arrange it so that it presses down on that one side pretty nice and, and flatly. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for a rounder style end to your wire, then the six-sided might be better for you. So, I uh, I grabbed some speaker wire here. And what these these ferrules do, so you know how, like, when you have, uh, like, that one piece of the wire sticking off, and uh, if, the, if the connectors are really close together, sometimes this will, the little guy will short against the other terminal. That is what these ferrules are designed to help prevent. So unlike a lot of, you know, uh, terminals and other type things, with these ferrules, you don't want to twist them. And the reason for that is because you slip them inside the ends here, which I'll do in a second, and you're trying to compress them into like a tidy little stack. And when they're twisted up, uh, you don't get that, that nice little stack of, uh, of small wires um, effect that you're going for. So this is a 16 gauge wire, which I know because it's printed on it and says AWG 16. And uh, per the little chart on uh, our kit here, 16 is the black ones. So the way these work is you try and wrangle your stranded wires into a little stack. And then fortunately, you know, the, the plastic end is a little bit bigger, so it helps gather the ends for you. And you place that on. And then you just shimmy it down and try to make it so, oh, see, I got what, there's a little loop sticking out there. So I'll try it again. Try and not have those happen. So we want any sort of bunching or anything like that to be contained within the plastic uh, end cap. So a little bit of a twist and they all slide in there. And like, it doesn't twist the, the ends so much, but it does kind of, you know, weasel it in so any, any fray kind of shimmies themselves up into the into the ferrule. So get that end position like that. You just take your crimpers, seat it in there all the way, and just squeeze. And there you go. Makes a kind of ribbed square shape. You can see there. Oh, that end doesn't look terribly lovely, but I, I assure you it is square kind of down the body a little bit. But uh, it's on there good. It, it grabs quite hard. And so now you have the little shoelace end that uh, can be inserted into, you know, like I said, speakers or, or uh, any sort of thing where it's like held with a screw, something like that. And uh, you can be sure that you're not going to have frayed wires or whatever. Now, a way to do this um, in a kind of more traditional way is to dip them in solder. Um, where you have a you know hot pot full of 
molten solder and you can, you know, uh, twist or, or generally arrange the end and you dip it in the solder and let it cool. But, uh, you know, heating up a whole pot when you just need to do a couple ends uh, is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it's a lot more expensive, that's for sure. Um, this whole set is, I don't know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not terribly expensive to get the tool and all of these, um, these different size ferrules, which fit a nice wide variety of, uh, of wires. Yeah, that is what this tool does. So until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.